everyone, it's Ashley and I'm back with a new video. Today we're going to be learning about how you can add a font inside Cricut Design Space. So if you want to expand your range of what you're working on and add more options, this is a great way to really change up the look of a project. So we're starting out at a website called defont.com. It has a ton of different fonts that you can find. Um, some are free for personal use, some are free for commercial use, some are just 100% free. So what you can do is go to the website and as you can see, there's a ton of different options that you can search for. You can search for styles, you can search for what type of font it is, you can search for um, little shapes that can be added as well, and those are under dingbats, or even something along the lines of holiday fonts. So what you can do is choose what you're looking for. So let's go under script handwritten for the first one. I'm going to choose a font and if you want to um, make sure that this is free for commercial use, if you have a business, you can always check the 100% free and then click submit. And then what it does is it'll bring up fonts that you can use that you don't have to worry about the licensing aspect of it. If you're using this for com for commercial use, it's different than if you're using for personal use. Most of these fonts that you're going to find here are free for personal use as well. And you can just kind of scroll through until you find something that really appeals to you that you think is really cute. And let's see if there's something we want to download. So let's try simplicity here and we can click download. And what it does is it downloads it as a zip file. So I'm gonna double click on that. And it brings up the zip file inside your downloads folder. If it hasn't opened it up, you can double click on that and it will sometimes bring up something like a file here and you can go inside the file and it'll usually have a description of the file as well as separate um, font files. This one only has one type of font file, which is a .otf. Usually you'll find something like the .ttf and .otf. I usually recommend clicking the .otf. So we're gonna choose that, and I'm just double clicking on it. It brings up a window to install the font, so we're gonna install the font. And now it shows up inside our fonts here. And we remember this one is called Simplicity. So let's open this up inside Cricut Design Space. If you're working on adding a brand new font or a series of fonts to Design Space, you're going to want to make sure you're logged out of Design Space. That way when you log back in, all the new fonts will be inside the um, application. We're inside Cricut Design Space in a brand new project. And let's click on text, like we're going to work with our brand new text. So I'm going to type in a word here and what it automatically does is it brings the font in with the basic um, first font for the Cricut Design Space software. Let's go in and we're going to search for the new font that we just added which was called Simplicity. So we're going to type in Simplicity up at the top. And there we go. And now that new font is inside the software and it's ready to go. So it's just that simple, guys. If you're having any problems with it, just remember the name of the font that you're looking for to search for. Um, it's usually the fastest if you type it into the little window here. And just make sure that you're um, logged out of Cricut Design Space before you start trying to use the new font. So just make sure you're logged out, install the font, and then re-log back in and it should pop up and be easy to find. If you guys have any questions at all, leave a comment below and I'm always happy to help out. If there's any type of videos you would like to see, also let me know. I really love hearing what you guys want to learn about. I hope you're having a great day and check out some of the other videos I have on my playlist. I'll see you guys later. Bye.